Hi, I'm Kurt Kelly for Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter with coverage from NAB 2012. In this episode, you'll meet Erica Blackwell from YBLTV, Anne Marie Cumming, Vice President of Communications for NAB, and our celebrity spotlight with Ben Silverman former head of NBC and now head of Electus. That and much more coming up in this episode of NAB 2012 from Las Vegas. Hi, Rick Belt, Electric Voice Microphones, uh, product manager, wired and wireless microphones. We're here at NAB 2012, uh, Las Vegas, Nevada, here at the EV Mic booth, enjoying an interview with Kurt for the Actors Reporter. Welcome to NAB 2012, live from Las Vegas. From Las Vegas, it's NAB 2012. You are watching Actors Reporter with your host, Kurt Kelly. And now, a spotlight shining on Anne Marie Cumming, who is the Vice President of Communications for the NAB, which is the National Association of Broadcasters. This year's theme, bring your content to life. With a fast changing technology, where if you blink, there's a new one already out. Will it evolve to also start to encompass internet broadcasts and telephony broadcast? Is that something that's in discussions? Well, I mean, in Washington, every industry has a, a, a lobby. There, has a lobby. Yes. They, every every group, uh, every group's interests are represented. It seems to me. Yes. So, uh, for instance, the cable industry has an association. Wow, that's the true. The wireless folks have an association. Satellite. Um, at this moment in time, I can't really imagine us all sort of merging into one. We still have one some separate One big happy interest. family? <laughs> what are the big statistics out of this year's countries, numbers of people, potential revenues as a result of this show alone? Well, um, you know, the, st the show's still going on. It's Thursday. We've got a mm -hmm. few more hours left here. But um, some of the numbers that, that are coming together in terms of attendance were actually consistent with last year's number. We're going to be right around 93,000, um, okay. which we're, we're, we're happy with. Um, uh, it's, it's, it's great. Our exhibitors, um, our exhibitor number is up. We have over 1,600 exhibitors on the wow. show floor. Impressive. And, you know, I think the vibe and I think what I'm hearing from people this year is that there's a lot of business getting done out there on there the is. show floor. We have the companies out there that see a value in being here and um, are, are, are able to conduct a lot of business with our 90 to 93,000 attendees that we have out here. Who are decision makers. A lot of people are decision makers at the show. They can say, I'm buying this, or we want the order. Exactly, exactly. And that's what we're hearing from our exhibitors, and, and we know that to be the case. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have demographic information on that um, showing, you know, the billions and billions of dollars that are uh, in business that are conducted here. Internationally, uh, the, the number of visitors that we get um, from uh, other countries is phenomenal. Um, it it ranges um, to be 25 to 30 percent of our overall attendance. That's huge. So we're we're looking at about 25,000 to 30,000 international visitors here this week, and um, uh, you know that number has been consistent for for several years. We're one of the largest international trade shows in the world. What's interesting, and and I've heard this from other people, not from anyone in your office, but with the massive consolidation of broadcast operations where before it was thousands of operators and now it's much less with the clear channels or the cumuluses of the world. There was a period where NAB seemed to shrink because there wasn't somebody from every different company. That doesn't seem to be the case anymore. It seems to still be a huge show. Yeah, you know, you might be surprised to learn that uh, the largest segment of our audience, mm -hmm. our attendees, are actually the production, post-production community. People so, who are making the actual shows we watch. Yeah, and you know, we branded our show where content comes to life and you know, we're representing 
the whole content life cycle and broadcasters hey where'd I come up with that what a concept <laughs> is this your idea and it's also it's got a good a, one it's got a signature <laughs> R with it too so it's trademarked don't mess with this one right right so um, uh, we have people here from every stage of the content life cycle and you know um, so the that production post-production community they're here in force and mm -hmm. we're um, you know we're catering to them with with educational sessions and the South Hall um, of course our broadcasters right. are here too conducting business but um, uh, so I guess my point is that regardless of the number of actual broadcasters as right you might define them are here there are a lot of other audience and audience segments here as well hi i'm ann fellman i'm the product manager for ramage signal online publishing and we're here we just launched at nab 2012 and i just had the pleasure of speaking with kurt kelly from the actors reporter oh my goodness we are calling it almost another day i don't know my feet feel like it's been another month or two I've been standing on them at a convention, shakadoo. Uh, we are at NAB 2012. We are having exciting moments that we're going to share with you. There's some stuff coming up from celebrities whose names you certainly will well know and people from around the planet from 156 countries. We're talking about over 16, almost 1700 exhibitors of technology, of entertainment products and projects, broadcasters from around the planet and Approximately about $150 billion worth of business will come out of this show alone this year's NAB 2012. I'm Kurt Kelly with Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Coming up next on our coverage of NAB 2012. If you're looking at purchasing hardware for your facility or studio and you're not sure what you want to do in the future, we work with all the different manufacturers and we provide software platforms that allow for acquisition, management, distribution, and archive through a web-based browser or through a client application. I'm Linda Cruz, the speaker at the Harmonic booth at the National Association of Broadcasters in Las Vegas 2012. We're here with Actors Reporter and your host, Kurt Kelly, Live Video Inc. I'm Gabor Kartai, CTO of Production Minds, and you're watching Actors Reporter with Kurt Kelly. Coming up, you'll meet John Aristi, who is with Pronology, and they have a new interactive system that they unveiled at this year's NAB with interactive end-to-end -end file base acquisition and delivery solutions that are user-friendly. We have a software platform that enables acquisition of media, management of media, distribution, and archive of media assets, both video clips, digital clips, non-based video clips. We have a unique platform where you're able to attach metadata before the clip is created, before the asset is created. So this create, will work for the internet also? This will work for any type of outlet or medium, yes. Wow. So I could shoot something using your technology, embed the right coding, Put it Correct. on the internet, Correct. and it would be already SEO compliant. Oh, we're working on this part, yes. Maybe I could give you some ideas on that. No. So, um, who would be your customers? Our, our clients are currently uh, production companies, studios, right. broadcast outlets. We uh, Currently, the product's been used uh, this year on the Academy Awards. It's used at Dr. Phil and the Doctors. Wow. Uh, Paramount Studios. Little places. And little places like yeah. that. Yes. Up and comers, okay. So, in an event like this, um, you're obviously not only targeting some of those clients, but a global audience. Global audience, yes. Who would be the people you're trying to reach? We're, uh, we're, we are hardware, a hardware agnostic software development company. So the idea is that if you're looking at purchasing hardware for your facility or studio and you're not sure what you want to do mm -hmm. in the future, we work with all the different manufacturers and we provide software platforms that allow for acquisition, management, distribution, and archive through a web-based browser or through a client application. No, the browser Apple. will work on any operating system. The client app is a Windows app. It is Windows app. Mm -hmm. So it is a 64-bit encryption? It can or? be. 64 okay. or 32-bit. You guys are, are being sensitive to the whole movement about intellectual property. Absolutely. Being Very important. Pirated. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. As it would be yeah. for anybody sure. involved in this industry. Yep. Is there a way, and maybe I'm giving you an idea here, and if so, I have no problem if you want to give me a residual for that. Is there a way you will be able to manage and track like royalties for people? Eventually, we'd like the system to be able to do this. Okay. Yes. Yep. So it would work for music artists or sure. for 
shows. Any type of artist, yes. Will this work with film also? It, it'll work with any type of asset. It doesn't matter what it is. Audio, video. It doesn't matter. Really? So, Anything we can attach as a file, any type of file creation. How long has your company been around? Uh, it's a startup that's been around for about nine months. Really? Done a tremendous amount. And you yes. already have that client list in this yes. shorted period? Yes. Who was the brain job? Uh, it's several of us. Back Chronology off. is a collaboration between two companies that started nine months ago. One had one, one company had an asset management product. The other one had front end for uh, for video playback servers. So it was pro analogy when you got married. Something again. like okay. that. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, my name is Jonas Kurs on Actors Reporters from HBS, and you'll be listening to Kurt Kelly after that. Erica Blackwell, producer and host for YBL TV. What is that? Your Biz Live TV. We are an internet TV show. I'm one of the hosts featured. Uh, we interview business owners from all different verticals, consumer electronics, hardware, software, design, automotive, you name it. And uh, we're here at the NEB show having a great time. So how many years have you covered NEB? Oh, gosh, I think about two or three now. Okay, and what is different this year over previous years? <sighs> I'm staying out later. <laughs> <laughs> so many great booths. Last night we were at La Scala restaurant. I was interviewing some people there. We had a great uh, interview with We Video, awesome mm -hmm. company. Uh, allows you to do editing up in the cloud. Loved it. We just came from the nightclub and bar show, and then after hold this, it, you just came from the nightclub and bar show at eleven in the morning. That was just a couple of weeks ago, and now we're going to the interrupt show, the money show. Where else are we going? I want to come with you to the money show. I don't know about the rest of them, but I want to be the money show. <laughs> yeah, the money show, the hardware show. That's that's a good show, the tailgate show, and uh, San Francisco. We're interviewing a bunch of top women uh, executives uh, in California. North wow, California. how powerful. From my initial research from this show, uh, I think what's just been the trend that I've seen in the last year, year, two years, you've got Live View, you've got Streambox, so many other mobile devices or that allow you to stream just on the fly with your backpack and mobile ENG, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. I, I love it. I think it's great. Um, I think what I'm really concerned about is content, legal issues, copyright, all that stuff, because it's like you're using this content, that content, you're combining it, you're mashing it up, and there's so many issues. I'll tell you, it's it's not easy. They, they're, at a, they're at a stump. So we're here today to take some uh, uh, classes uh, with um, Jeff Henninger, mm -hmm. who's going to be talking about some of the legal issues, uh, which hopefully we'll be able to address with him. But at the same time, it gives, it gives the power back to the people. I think that's really amazing. I mean, Chad Hurley couldn't have said it better. We're at an amazing time in, in history that, that that companies are finally having the opportunity to take their the power in their hands and, and, and you know broadcast live anywhere in the world. And don't blink, that's how fast it's going today in five minutes it's gonna change. I, I totally agree. Very nice to meet you. Have a great show, Erica Blackwell. So I'm Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter and Live Video Inc. We'll be back with more from NAB 2012. Hi, my name is Pat Harris. I'm with Cycle Sports TV. And today we're here with Kurt Kelly from Actors Reporter. Coming up, our celebrity spotlight shines on Ben Silverman, who is now the founder and chairman of Electus in Los Angeles and was a keynote speaker for this year's NAB 2012 in Las Vegas. From NAB 2012, we'll be back in just a few moments. I'm Kurt Kelly for Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. Stick around. Hi, my name is Jessica Cantor. I work with Livestream, I'm their head of marketing, and I'm watching Actors Reporter with Kirk Kelly. And now our continuing interview with T3 Motion. So what made you go from technology to this type of well, technology? This is, this is high technology. And uh, it's just great to be a part of innovation, especially in an industry like the film production uh, space. So we're very excited to you know, continue to evolve, continue to grow and expand our market share. One thing, we're gonna do is we're gonna mount the uh, GoPro type of camera on the front. Right. So when the people finish the vacationing, they have a full video of the, what the content. So they can the uh, actual operator can send sell the uh, content, the video content. So they have options to buy the uh, video. Okay. So that'd be another business model uh, for the uh, the, the rental operator. 
You know, I just I thought just came to me, and you probably already had this idea too. And if so, I, 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 I'm I'm acceptable to that. Um, is when you get ready to do the training videos where you are telling people how to use these in safe operation, or whatever. I know this great voiceover guy you should hire. Let me give you his card, and uh, I know you had that idea already. Yes, I did. Okay, good. Shoot, there's a load off my mind. So um, these are the fourth generation. What's the vision? Where are you taking these next? Well, several uh, uh, different areas. We started the whole business with the police, security, and government side. Now we're taking this to consumer, other things. Uh, the, uh, and professional other, applications. Other, yes. So those are recreational uh, uh, product, and the, uh, these uh, product video production. Also, we're actually uh, you start using for a cruise ship, for spraying down the, uh, for adding sprayers. Uh, also industrial, for warehouse, running around warehouse. Okay, we have a smaller model coming out, they can run around the warehouse. And also co-branding, remember you said you put a Lego logo on here? Mm -hmm. Imagine the whole thing looks like Red Bull on there, just example, or Nike, okay? The, imagine the Red Bull goes around passing drinks out on the Red Bull, so it's called the co-branding. So, so there's a lot of different applications. People like say RV, you go to somewhere camping, you don't, want, you don't want to take your car, you take this and you ride around the neighborhood. So uh, we're finding more and more application for this thing. Okay. So I think it's the beginning. This is only part of the product we have. We have other product, uh, uh, foil product. We have a different car product. Uh, so this is only one of the product we make. You're making electric cars now? Yes. We make a three wheel electric car called the R3. Go on our website, www.t3motion.com. T3motion.com. And that's a T with a just a capital T, not T E E. T, T the number three. T with the number three. Yes. The letter T, the, the number three, <laughs> motion. <laughs> kind of like that logo right there. T3 the logo motion. Dot com at the end. Yeah, put a dot com on the end of your <laughs> T3 <laughs> motion. T3. You can Google T3, it will come out first page. Now, hold it. What if I did T T E E or T E A? You can do T T T M. That's a stock symbol. Oh, okay. We're a public traded company. Congratulations. You, uh, you guys are on the edge of a brilliant innovation here. Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. Ben Silverman, who is known for many hit TV shows like the Emmy Award winning comedy The Office, the Golden Globe winning Ugly Betty, and many other critically acclaimed series. With Ben Silverman. How is it different to have a channel on YouTube as opposed to a TV show on television? I mean, it seems like yeah, yeah. I think it's like the fact that it's the, like um, when you talk about apps. You know what I mean? A, a TV show is an app. A channel is an app. You know, the, the the language is a little bit more grandiose. But um, the reality is, we will have original content on every week, all year. We will have regularly scheduled premieres of episodic shows, and and it will look like mini TV. You know, and we'll have repeat cycles, and uh, and everything will be inventoried and available uh, on demand all the time, as is, as is the world of YouTube. Um, but I think from a branding perspective, it, that's where the kind of channel process. Is, is coming together. It's how, how do we make it a destination so that you know to just go there for content that appeals to you? I think next week or in a couple weeks, YouTube's going to be doing its presentation to Mass Now, its version of an upfront. Yeah. Um, you've been involved in the upfronts, traditional upfronts, yeah. for years. How different is it to have YouTube present this content? To Madison Avenue, does this is this a does this speak to a mind shift in the way the different types of content compete and how they're competing for ad dollars? Well, I just think you know, as disruptive as this great disruptive room is, the the fact is that we're all lemmings. I cannot believe that you know. All right, let's do the new front. Look who's there! It's Hulu. It's Yahoo. It's it's YouTube. It's like we all showed up. We're a month earlier. New front. You know, it's kind of. Uh, it, it's obvious, you know, it's like, why wouldn't you go to where your customer is? I think there was an incredible amount of arrogance in Silicon Valley for, as it exploded and, and continued to grow. And now that it's reaching the real world and, and becoming actual, you know, you know, protected, you know, they now have the lobbyists, they now have the power plays, they're now in the White House more than, than the group that was in this room. And 
they are correctly recognizing, oh, well, in the real world, we actually now need to make money, and the guys who are our clients are the brands. And you can't algorithm your way through a relationship driven business, and it's still relationship driven. I think next week or in a couple of weeks, YouTube is going to be doing its presentation to us now, its version of an upfront. Yeah. Um, you've been involved in the upfronts, traditional upfronts yeah. for years. How different is it to have YouTube present this content? Absolutely playing both sides. Even if broadcast is, is king, consumer is God. This is Keith Lissack at Harmonic, and you're watching Kurt Kelly on Actors Reporter. Coming up on a future episode of NAB 2012, a special look at what's going on with premium services in multi-platform distribution. We have continuing coverage of NAB 2012 coming up soon. I'm Kurt Kelly from Live Video Inc. and Actors Reporter. Thanks for joining us. It's Kurt Kelly, an Actors Reporter. Actor re with your host, Kirk Kelly, and ActorsReporterInc.com. Uh, Kirk Kelly and LiveVideoInc.com. Live Video Inc., that's it? Okay. And with your host, Kirk Kelly, and Actors Reporter Live Video Inc. <laughs> your host, Kirk Kelly. <laughs> with your host Kurt Kelly and Actors Reporter LiveVideoInc.com Now it's time for the NAB 2012 special bonus moments from Las Vegas. I don't think there's anything better for baseball than radio. Let me just mention the graphs. I really know, I mean, the audience, the audience doesn't know a thing until you, you tell them what's going on. Television, you can see everything. And you talked about how green the grass is. I, I look at how much of the grass can I smoke with? Uh, I'd try anything once, uh, but that's, that's, that's the love of baseball, and that's what the fan, the listener, they don't know anything until you tell them about it, and that's what makes radio baseball the best. It really is. I mean, people, you don't sit in your houses all day long during the summertime and, and watch a game on television. You're outside, you got a radio with you, you're driving around in a car, you got a radio with you, and that's... That's really what makes baseball so exciting for the fan. You have to love the game too, and I think I've, I've always been privileged because of the fact that I'm an ex-player. Uh, and I know what it's like to, to be in a clubhouse, to be down 10 games, and you've lost five in a row, and you're getting your brains beat out by the writers and the media. So I know what that's like, and it helps me as far as the broadcast go. Um, to, to have been a player, again, I was on a world's championship team in St. Louis in 1964. We beat the Yankees. And uh, I remember that. Uh, Pink Devine, who was the uh, general manager, thank you, of the St. Louis Cardinals, then uh, he said the Cardinals uh, wanted me to do him a favor uh, in an area where he thought I could really help the club as far as the series went. And I said, hey, you know, I'll be on whatever you want. He so said, we'd, like we'd like to inject you with hepatitis <laughs> so we can bring another player up on the roster. I said, uh, uh, I'm in. I mean, will I be able to sit on the bench? And uh, I can remember the pictures. Uh, 
I turned such a beautiful shade of yellow with that home white uniform. It was, uh, it was, it was really neat. Uh, of course, the next season, you get that championship ring, that World Series ring. And players walking up to home plate and get your ring. And I remember they threw mine into the outfield. And uh, I found it, I think, in the fifth inning. I kept going out there and finally got it. That, uh, that's something that a lot of players can't ever, can't ever say. A lot of guys played in the big leagues a long time and never made, you know, never made it to a World Series. So uh, again, to, to be here today um, and to, uh, to have been able to play and again, not make a lot of money. I was paid a tremendous amount of money by Rawlings, Rawlings Sporting Goods Company to never be seen using their equipment, uh, which was nice, really nice. Uh, my family's here, my son Bob, uh, little league player. I remember I went to a game one day, had three errors, uh, kicked the ball in the ninth inning and they lost the game, and I couldn't have been more proud. Uh, just like I was, yeah. Their parents throwing eggs and stuff at us, remember that? <laughs> My kids had a saying when I came home from a game. Another day, another dollar, four bats, another collar. Yeah. <laughs> but they're here. My family is here. Uh, our ownership group, Mr. Mark Antonazio, his wife, got one of the great owners in, in any sport. Thank you for coming. this event. Thank you guys very much. And to uh, all of you and to the uh, NAB, congratulations all of you on your awards. It's a beautiful thing. And when I hear the stations from Cincinnati and Philadelphia, those are places that I still go uh, to do the games, to broadcast. And it's, uh, I know what it means as a station to, uh, to pick up an award such as this. I know Steve Wexler is here from our uh, station in Milwaukee, WTMJ, um, and a lot of our Wisconsin stations throughout the state of Wisconsin that carry Brewers baseball. So again, thank you to all of you, and again, congratulations to all the winners, and uh, I'll leave you with this thought. I, I leave this thought with kids. Young kids who maybe aren't going to be great athletes. If you can't, if you can't play a sport, to hell with it.